This troper is Gus Zagarella, and I'm a dirty coward. This troper is Meg Tudin, and I'm a dancing with myself. This troper is Henry Galley, and I'm stupid evil. This troper is Addison Peacock, and I'm a mega Nico. And welcome back to Troper Fails, the show where we revisit the old Troper Tales archive and see how people in the late 2000s tried to apply fictional tropes to their everyday lives. And it always worked. I never stopped doing it. <laughs> we didn't start the tropers. Yeah. They were always troping since the world That's started That's my tro- secret cap. Troping. I'm always troping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, God topical. The incredible troper. My favorite I guess I'm just hero. a geek, like a nerd. Like, I'm not like the other girls. You're a bit of the Joker, <laughs> Addison. Kind of no, I'm, I'm like very quirky. Look, you may all be quirky, but at least you're not a butt monkey, <laughs> which is what we're starting today's episode off on. There is literally one entry to this because most of them were really depressing. I think that one originated from Buffy. Xander has a monologue where he's like, I'm tired of being like the dude that all the bad shit happens to on this show. On this show. He doesn't know he's on a show, but you know what I mean. He stares at the camera and he's like, Joss Whedon keeps writing me as a butt monkey. Help. Yeah. yeah. Joss Whedon's a cool sex haver. <laughs> Known sex haver Joss Whedon writes me as the butt monkey and I'm tired of it. I would also like to be a sex haver. It would then, it would turn the camera around and show Joss Whedon in his office and he would go, little on the nose, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Your name's Xander? What's that about? (laughs) My, I watched too much Buffy as a child brain took over for a second and I like had to say that and I'm sorry and I'm going to stop now. Tell me what's the thing. Didn't TV Tropes start off as a Buffy fan forum? It did. (gasps) No, that's canon. That's canon to the origin of TV Tropes. That's wild. Everyone should go check out our two professional writers on Joss Whedon to hear us Mm. talk about that guy. (laughs) Ha ha, seamless plug. The first and only butt monkey entry is... This troper has a friend who everyone says is ugly as sin. To add to that, he's not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer either. This is your friend? I love to go on an internet forum and tell them about my ugly idiot friend. (laughs) (laughs) Like, if this is how you talk Uh, about your friend, how the fuck do you talk about your enemy? I love the idea that it's not the friend, it's him. He's just like, I have a friend who has this problem where he's ugly and he's just telling these dumb ones. What should I tell my friends to do? Hey, you know, my my friend might be ugly as sin and not particularly sharp, but at least he thought a long time about how to get a planet eater (laughs) in the same universe as a clan of wizards, and at the end of the day, I really respect him for it. I just wish he'd write his ideas Not to make my second fucking Avengers reference in in this episode, but I understood that (laughs) reference. Oh my god, yes. That is the end of Butt Monkey, but we are moving from one TV tropes, uh, uh, sorry, trope of fail staple to another. We're moving from butts to boobs because we now oh have, boy. we now have Buxom is better. Okay, fun. Can't wait for a bunch of internet dudes to be super normal about the women in their lives. I love it when guys are so normal <laughs> about breasts. Especially in this era. Like, you know, back in the, uh, the 2012, Oh yeah, 2012 2010. nerd communities were a very good normal time for people to talk about women's bodies. It was just so mainstream for them to just treat women like they would any other person. Did you remember, like, back in this era, I feel like especially on Tumblr, any male writer would just have to be like, well, I just see women as people. And they'd be like, here's, here's the key to the planet, sir. Yeah. Here is 100 bajillion dollars. <laughs> Finally, the bare minimum. Now I'm just, I'm just thinking He's about gone. that bad male writing parody that's like, she breasted boobily down the stairs. She breasted boobily? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went to a party once, rough way to begin, and one of my Maybe. friends was wearing a shirt which very nicely showcased her newly developed tracks oh, of Oh, fuck lamb. you. Jesus I fucking love a, I love a Monty Python <sighs> reference. You, I know what this guy looks like now. I know what his Pump favorite hat is. is. With his 94 leather jackets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> they just looked great. Every time I talked to her or walked past her, I told her, good job, oh and gave God. a thumbs up. This happened five times or so. Towards the end of the party, my girlfriend said that my friend had came to her and said, your boyfriend keeps telling me good job every time he walks by. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. My girlfriend knew what I was talking about and found <sighs> it hilarious. As far as I know, my friend still hasn't figured it out. I was so hoping this story would end with both his friend like, and his girlfriend like doing the like perfectly timed like comedic slap yeah. around his face. I would love if the second entry to this was, so there's this girl, and she's got huge bronchodonkeros. 
And then another girl comes in and she's got even bigger bazongas ongas. I was gonna say this this like Troper Tales story feels like it was written from inside of an anime. Also, like, yeah. hey, what a cool story to tell the internet about a time you sexually harassed your friend. Yeah, five times. And she never found out. But now you all know. <laughs> It's awful. He felt the need Also, to I guarantee you, yes, she fucking did know what you were doing. Oh, yeah. Yes, she knew mm-hmm. what you were doing. But he's the protagonist, so he can decide how much knowledge the other <laughs> characters had in the story. God. Next, we are actually getting the female perspective on this. And it is from uh, a woman discussing okay. her own boobs. So here Long we go. Way. This trope has spent a lot of time in middle and high school angsting over her boobs while her dot 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 less endowed dot 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 friends angsted for the opposite reason. Now they are one of my favorite physical features and I love flaunting them along with my curves. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying my skinny, flat-chested friends aren't pretty too. They're beautiful. I've just finally accepted that big boobs are sexy. Then in parentheses, as are all things about a woman's body. I have caught... Oh, here's where it gets sinister. I have caught two of my teachers and more than one of my (sighs) friends staring down my shirt. However, so there is a bit of awkward involved. Up until that last I, I, sentence, I it think was she's wholesome. In, I think she must be in college because yeah. she's saying in middle but and high school. But I, oh, uh, still weird. Still yeah, weird. still weird, but not illegal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is a uh, this is like a three act play because it began kind of like in a wholesome setup place, and now we've reach some unwholesome territory. There's a conflict that's been introduced. I went physically, just, I want to take you, because you can't see me, on, like, a physical journey with me. Not that sounded sexual. On a journey through what, like, what my (laughs) face was doing while you were reading that. I started off, like, kind of wincing, preparing for something terrible. Then I was nodding my head, like, yes, girl, yes. Bodies are beautiful. Women are beautiful. And then I was shaking my head so hard. So hard, and I almost unplugged my headphones. Oh, no. That one really took us, like, over sideways and under <laughs> on, like, a magic carpet ride. Yeah. yeah, and just the end was the carpet just going into a volcano. Not really a new world so much as, uh, tragically, the same world it's always been, but still. A whole boob world. The same old world, <laughs> a place we've always been before. Standing on a stationary carpet and just being like, the same old place. <laughs> We don't go anywhere. It's here. It's just here and here and not there. It's just here. It's like a really, like, that feels like one of those, like, college humor skits you'd see in, like, this type of era yeah. where it'd be, like, realistic Aladdin. Yeah. Oh, during, like, the, the digital the digital media boom. Yeah, where everyone yeah. was doing, like, the pivot to video before it all came crumbling down. Yeah. Oof. Don't say Ooh. those words to yeah. me, please. <laughs> nice. the, the words that turns any writer <laughs> yep. to ash. Just, hey, Ugh. pivot to video. <laughs> like splashing water on a gremlin i just scream yeah i I promise oh i promise i have to put something over like henry's noise just there (laughs) i have to like edit some creature or something yeah some kind of creature (laughs) a A creature creature. dios mio la creature i cannot wait to see what you ascribe that fucking noise i made to pretty good noise that was almost your unknowable noise yeah people don't get to know the unknowable noise well, we're not quite left the creepy zone yet because we have we're, we've got our first thing of the letter C. We're breaking new oh, ground. Oh no, I see what it says. And it's cake eater. Okay. Which uh, Wait, for those that don't know, is... hold on a sec. <laughs> men who go for older women Wait, because what Christmas cake is an expression for yeah. uh, a woman what? who's older than twenty five. I, Not a very common thing, but I've you never, know, it's TV tropes. TV tropes is is an all. I thought universe. cake eater. And, uh, I just was gonna like, mean ass ten, eater. Ten years have passed. Yeah, no, yeah, this is before, yeah. Like, that's what I was gonna say. Amigo. Ten years have passed be- since they named this. The context is very yeah, much they need changed. To yeah. It. But I, I'm pretty sure the original meaning of cake eater was a man who goes for older women because a Christmas cake is a woman oh. who is older than 25. The logic being. You know, like, no matter how good the cake is, you're not going to want to eat it after the 25th. Yeah, it's a gross yeah, it's origin. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. It's it really disgusting. Is. And there's only but one... that's ent- par for the course in this decade. <laughs> yeah. The only entry is, an awful lot of my crushes over the years have been over the age of 25. That's because I favor women who are worldly, jaded in a nice way, and well stacked. What a that gentleman. That is not <laughs> creepy. Um, I actually respect this man. He's honest, at least. I'll as long that. as he himself is over the age of consent, 
Yeah. Sorry to this yeah. man, but I'm 26 and I'm none of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this was written like back in the early 2000s. We were less self-aware about the more like limited abilities of millennials. And That's fair. 26 year olds were different back then. <laughs> they were 36. 26 year olds back then were 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 chain smoking jaded Gen Xers. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone grew up to be Pixar moms back then. Yes. Yeah. So that was the end of Cake Eater. Oh my god, wait. Anyone familiar with um Metal Gear Solid? Oh sorry, I had sex in high school. No. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Addison, you came on the show and you killed it. Well, you gotta do it. Like, also, that was a lie. I didn't have sex in, in a school. dream. Cake eater. <laughs> so it was a suicide bombing. I'm so sorry. That cake was also eater. a lie. Anyway. Anyway, guys, what is this Metal Gear Solid back? One of the games is called um, Snake Eater, and it has a fucking spy, like, James Bond opening that's, like, a fully done Snake Eater number. So... I heard Cake Eater, and I just thought of that. Metal Gear Solid Cake Eater. It's just Solid Snake going after an older woman. I'm I'm, I'm suddenly overcome with guilt for what I did just now. I'm so sorry. (laughs) No, it's okay. I neither played Metal Gear Solid or had sex in high school, so it's fine. (laughs) I didn't do either one either. I'm fine. (laughs) We just randomly offended a segment of the audience. What are we doing? Yeah. Let's move on. All right, so... Why did we come for them like that? We have only two tropes left in this episode. They're both Cs, and they are both dynamite. First one, we have catchphrase. I'm gonna, oh, no. I'm, I'm going to go around the room. I'm going to select a person each. Don't even think about it. Say your catchphrase. You just get one. Gus, what's your catchphrase? I'll be seeing you in the near future. Meg, what's your catchphrase? The word irrelevant. Addison, what's your catchphrase? Baba Booey. <laughs> and mine is yes, no, absolutely. Let's see what they I've never said Baba Booey in my life. Just the- <laughs> I'm just recovering from Baba Booey. <laughs> Something just possessed me. I don't know what that was. The Baba Booey ghost. It got you. Don't call Baba yeah. Booey at 3 a.m. <laughs> God, Baba Booey. Look at the mirror say three times, Baba Booey, Baba oh, Booey, Baba no. Booey. And Howard Stern appears in a mirror nearby you. And he kills you. They're going to take Howard me. Howard Stern slits your fucking throat. He's the radio demon. Oh it's Howard Stern all along. <laughs> That's who's going to be playing him now that all of the non-SAG a- actors are from Alabama. Yeah, it's, it's just no, like, I mean, Heather Hotel. Yeah, just Howard Stern as Alistair Radio Demon. It's me, Lester, the late night TV demon. <laughs> yeah. Please watch me. I was going to say, that's Jimmy Fallon. God. So what I love about this first set of catchphrases, it's a bunch of catchphrases, but it's all from oh, one Oh, hell yeah. Over. And what's really funny about it is these all together... Really paint a picture of All what right. this trope's life is oh, like. Okay, let's play Meg's favorite game, which is psychoanalyzing somebody based on the content they put out. Hell yeah. All right, is everyone ready? <laughs> Ten years ago. Yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> That's not fair. That doesn't make sense. Let's go, damn it, let's go. Oh no, not again. Are you quite done? I need brain bleach. My man is struggling. These all sound like things that an NPC in a zombie game would say. Like, it's the member of your party when you're, like, locked in the shopping mall. It's the member of your party who is, like, the the one really annoying one. And they're, like, well, that's not fair. Like, everybody's, or not even in a zombie game, in a zombie movie. There's always a character like this who's, like, hey, you know, I'm a, I'm a big shot Wall Street lawyer. I don't have to take this. Yeah. What sense does that make? Hey, I don't care that there's zombies out there eating people. I gotta get to my my meeting. I'm just imagining like people like truly embodying like video game NPCs and just like a bunch of guys gathering together in some like mountain cabin and someone comes up and they're like, never should have come here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so good. You never should have. I like doing to this. imagine a world where this yeah. is not only are these these guys catchphrases; these are actually the only phrases he can say. Like a Pokemon, he just repeats them. Yes. You just pull a string on his back and he says one of six fun panicked <laughs> phrases. Oh, he's having he's, so much he's trouble. Just so stressed this poor out. guy. He's this is this is the This is the butt <laughs> monkey the friend of that other trope yeah. the, the other one. He's ugly, stupid, yeah. and constantly put upon. He's stressed out, and that is his one trait. 
Aw, buddy. The protagonist of this new light novel. <laughs> because I'm intensely curious and I want people to tell on themselves, if you've made it this far into the video, please tell us below what your oh, catchphrase yes. is. We must know. <laughs> tell us in the comments. <laughs> yes, yeah, please. Buddy. Oh, so next we have this trooper and his friends say, Tuo man ka Anna, which roughly translates to, like you believe it. What's like in what? Oh. I don't know. In me language. <gasps> Henry, tell them about Danta. Oh, you promised oh, you would tell about Danta, okay. and this is can, the perfect can time. Can I quickly tell you guys the story sure. of Danta? Speaking of catchphrases that have haunted Danta. haunted this man his whole life. So it, it didn't <laughs> begin with Danta. It began with Noish. So I knew this guy in high school. Um, I'm not going to tell okay. you his name, but he, he he was a bit of a champion bullshitter, and he would like make up different things. And he, he made up like a, a horror movie that he watched because like addison was saying in i think the previous video what you would do in high school is you wouldn't like early high school you wouldn't watch horror movies but you'd bullshit about seeing them for cred after like reading the descriptions he made one up wholesale and he said that one of the characters in it was called i think noish uh i i said like you made that up noish isn't a real name it's, no it's it, it's a word i said okay well tell me what noish means then and for years, he outright refused to tell me. And just every so often, I'd just be like, you can hear what noise is today? And he just wouldn't. Then one day he says to me, okay, I'm going to tell you um, what it is. And okay, all right, tell me. And he says, it's foreign for Danta. Not even a specific language. Just, it's foreign for Danta. Danta? And this is years down the line. And I say to him, well, what does Danta mean? And this guy looks me in the eyes and he says, it's English for noise. I love this story. What? Every time you tell it, I picture that, like, the the inciting incident of you asking what noise meant, that first one happened on, like, the first, like, within the first few months of year seven, and then him telling you noise is foreign for Danta happened on the day you graduated from oh, high school. No. And then, and then, as he says, it's English for noise. He just backflips away into the sunset, yeah. never to be seen again. And that man was the Oxford English Dictionary. Yeah. I know, I was there. I was the dictionary. That man was the inventor of words. That was Danta. Miriam Webster. Yeah. My good friend Miriam Webster. God damn it. See, I, you can tell that this was a you can tell that this was a story in the past where people were willing to bullshit like that because if you told this nowadays, they would say like "Danta these nuts" or something. Yeah. <laughs> Danta these nuts. God damn it! You're right. Noise on these. Yeah, nuts. noise on these. Noise on yeah. these nuts. <laughs> We are fucking children. <laughs> Henry, I'm not a child. I'm a Christmas cake. It is. Aren't we recording this on the 26th yes. of December? Yeah. <laughs> so we're all past our prime, lads. Yeah, we're all Christmas cakes all today. Husks. The next uh, set of catchphrases, one goes, When he asks a question, this trooper never asks directly. Instead, he states the most undesirable slash costly possible outcome of the situation, regardless of probability, and follows with, Am I right? He is rarely wrong. What? Basically, if anyone brings up, like, oh, I'm planning on doing this, I'm thinking of trying skydiving over the weekend, he'll be like, oh, and your parachute will fail, and you will plummet into the ground at 100 miles an hour and become a dead splattered <laughs> mess. Am I right? This guy fucking sucks. Basically, I I the ultimate that. pessimist. Like, I'm gonna get a salad for lunch, and that romaine will be full of listeria, and you'll shit your brains out and die. Am I right? This guy sucks. Is yeah. this man just anxiety personified? Is this just, did my OCD get a TV Tropes account? He's a guy now. My OCD made a TV Tropes account in another world. I mean, you say that, but this almost feels like the fourth, or no, sorry, the fifth season of Channel Zero that we never got. Like someone's OCD Wait. starts contacting them. Yeah. To be fair, the fifth the fifth season of Channel Zero is a show called Brand New Cherry Flavor. Yeah, everyone go check that out. It's a great show. <laughs> ah, I've heard good it's things. It's so good. I'm fine. Um. But yeah, so, and then the, the same person says, another one of his is, Qu'est-ce que ne sais que j'ai encore fait? Let me I see it. Let up. me see what that, um, l let me see that. I, I, what did I do this time? Yeah. Whenever someone calls him. Qu'est-ce que j'ai encore fait? Is that French for Danta? Literally, that sounds like the translation they do in, like, the French dub of Urkel. Oh, my God. I just, I just heard Gus quietly say, is that English for Danta? 
Danta. No, I said, is that French for Danta? Oh, fuck. That's French for Danta these nuts. Yeah, Danta these nuts. Danta these noish these nuts. This guy now says, it sets the... Yeah, work noish into your comment somehow. That's N-O-I-S-H. And we will respond with Danta. Yes. That's how you. That's how you know you're a Kroberfels fan. Like if you go to if you go to a person in public and you go noish to meet you, and they'll okay. say lovely dancer. Yeah, Henry Galley. Henry Galley. Don't, don't. I love how the first one's a pun and the second yeah, one's uh, not even Henry, trying. Henry, don't you fucking dare bring back. I liked your shoelaces. I got them from the president. Right now, don't yeah. do that. <laughs> I'm bringing back all the your classes. shoelaces are really noish. Yeah. That's a that was a noish video. My favorite work of like Italian literature was God always Dante's Inferno. <laughs> Dante's Inferno. That's what he Dante's put you through when he went to tell yeah, you. Yeah, he put me through Dante's Inferno. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't very nice. That's not a nice him. thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Dante. I love around. Here comes it's... Dante Claus. Yeah. Here comes Dante Claus. Right Dante Claus. Claus right lame. down Dante Claus. Lame. Lame. I love Christmas time when Santa asks if you've been naughty or nice. <laughs> Dante Claus asks if you've been naughty or nice. That's it. <laughs> So the day after Christmas, after Santa's already come, they send in Danta. Yeah, people are always talking about Krampus. It's Danta that you should really worry about. Yeah, Danta just shows up and steals, like, your most prized possession. And like, instead of giving you a gift. You. Yeah. No matter what it is. Plasma screen TV eats it. Oh, uh, my favorite eats clickbait it. Kid YouTube video is Danta Claus <laughs> bored my dog. <laughs> Not, not very not noise. Gone bababooey. Gone bored. Gone bababooey. Oh my god. Direwolf dire wolf is just like, our battle will be legendary. We have the very last catchphrase. In a bit of an old shame, this troper used to use chow for now as a substitute for goodbye. This clever, then in parenthesis, if you want to call it that, we don't, remark, never garnered praise ever, so I eventually gave up. People who say chow for now, I must imagine is like, like, I don't know, like, like sort of old, like fancy women with little dogs. Yeah. Like, like she's got a feather bow on and she's wearing big, like Dame Edna sunglasses. And she's like, oh, darling, chow for now. Yeah. <laughs> she goes and she takes her dog to the, uh, the, to the, um, daycare and she goes, chow, my chow, chow. Yeah. <laughs> chow for now, chow. Yes. I have Please. one more trope. This is going to make this episode run slightly long, but when I tell you what the trope is, you will see why I could not have skipped it. Is everyone uh, ready? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Cuckoo Lander. Fish. That's my answer, because I'm quirky. I said yep. fish oh, instead dear. of yes. You never know what I'm going to rutabaga. I'm still in yeah. tears, Damn like physically, like actual tears right. down my face down my face from the last thing so uh fuck it let's just send me into my grave good i mean what is tv <laughs> tropes if not just a descent into madness you every hello episode? i'm silly is gonna be on here no hello i'm silly was one and hello special. i'm silly you can never catch that <laughs> lightning in a bottle twice so our first cloud cuckoo lander let's fucking go i managed to burst out laughing and cry hysterically at the same time then in parenthesis my friend also a cloud cuckoo lander said the way to cure insanity was to take LSD and sit in a room with rainbow strobe lights with rock music oh, playing. That's the way they do it in the movies. Needless funny. to say, I did not take this advice. Also, um, you're not special for crying and laughing at the same time. I'm doing it right now. Yeah. I do it all the time. I consider a TV, a Trope of Fails episode a failure if it doesn't happen to <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a cloud cuckoo lander. I just have Joker disease. I love that this guy is. Uh, you'll you'll appreciate this, Gus. This guy's cure for insanity is basically nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I'm peeking. Send me some funny shit. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. nightmare, nightmare. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> That's one of oh the funniest pictures. That's on the exactly internet. what this person's yeah. friend was trying to psychologically destroy them. Strobe lights are not a cure for anything. They're a product of, of illness. Cloud Cuckoo Lander Part 2. Troper is usually like this most of the time. Which one? You? Just is him. it this Troper? It's Troper is it is this in... Troper? I'm the Troper. Which one? <laughs> um, I'm the Troper. Troper is usually like this most of the time, especially when he is tired and even tends to randomly ponder questions. Oh, poor Troper that, gets sleepy. But he's not sure. Uh, he's not sure too many people think about and has asked his teachers, many of them, 
usually answered with puzzled expressions. Are you ready to hear the three questions Please. this guy asks himself? This is, oh, by the way, to no. me, whatever you say yes. next is what I now interpret as the new riddle of the Sphinx. Yeah, in the sense that, like, a, a giant monster will just immediately eat you if you get them yes. wrong. And this is yeah. why none have survived. <laughs> it's another direwolf scheme. All right. Why is it in some games they have a single player mode that they allow you to play co-op in? This this person asks their teacher this? Yeah. Huh. What's next? I can still get in trouble for jaywalking even if I L-walk? Go to jail. So Okay, okay. that's just well, not honestly, what that okay, means. So here's what L-walking is to me. Walking out into the street <laughs> and then turning at a right degree and then walking directly <laughs> into traffic. That is absolutely also, illegal, my guy. <laughs> Also, jaywalking is spelled J-A-Y. Yeah. It's not the letter J walking. Uh, the funny thing is, they've even spelled it J-A-Y, so their own joke doesn't This person make sense. has pushed me. The joke only makes this sense. Push, this person has pushed me too far. I've begun my Joker arc because now all that I want to do yes. is reach through the computer, grab this man by the shoulders, and go, you're not funny. You're not funny. Addison has become the Sphinx. I will devour this man alive and spit his bones in front of his parents. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Addison, Addison has become Nicholas Key. Yeah, Addison has speed run the Joker. <laughs> yeah, Addison has. Oh my has God! Done some alter ego as, as a Joker persona yeah. right now. Yeah, you you don't get to say like, oh, I've started my Joker arc when you're threatening war crimes. <laughs> Step one, what are you saying, Gus? I well, I, I mean, I now I feel like I should say that like you know we're all playing the Joker single player mode, but the rest of us are on co op. And <laughs> Yeah. Addison is clearly player one at the moment. Are you ready, player one? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking got guys. God. What I was oh. going to say Sorry, is um, I like to think that L walking is just walking with an L on your forehead. <laughs> like just having the L she fingers She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. No, L walking, walking is actually just when you're walking across the street and you're trying to catch the Kira murderer in Japan. And you're L from Death Note. That was the worst thing oh I've ever God. said. I need you it's to walking just walking with no shoes on and your hands in your pocket and you're like slouching yeah. a bunch and you're like eating candy. I need to be like time. immediately yeah. rocketed into the sun for that. That was terrible. Addison, that would have like killed. That would have been so hilarious ten years ago. No. Which is the point of this show. Exactly. The number of times L has been invoked on. This I am show. become teenage Addison, destroyer of her own self esteem. Oh no! All right, moving on to the next one. Uh, the last question is, so a knock-knock joke isn't getting knocked unconsciously in a hilarious fashion? Okay, these aren't questions he ponders. It no, it literally isn't. The answer to all of these is no, because you'd have to be an literally, idiot to think okay, the opposite. Literally, okay, fucking, I'm actually so angry because none of these are even, like, shower thoughts questions to ponder. They're just the world's worst type five. Like, this is just a guy getting up and being really bad at comedy at an open mic. I'm fucking angry. <laughs> Yeah. I've become incandescent with rage. I am going full Dennis Reynolds, always sunny in Philadelphia. I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds. Newsflash, <laughs> asshole. You've been on funny the whole time. Yeah, literally. I, am, I, I like, I, I, I like, I like, I, I, I'm trying. People are going to think I'm doing a bit right now. My face is turning red. I am sweating. I hate this man. <laughs> We've fully gone to Cloud Cuckoo Land, yeah. like <laughs> at the at the and at like the a certain awesome. mark of the I've video. I've become fully but, Jokerfied. Yeah. All right, next we have this is from a guy called Pro Mode. Sure. He goes from, and then there's this damned array of objects I need to convert into a string to. Ooh, look at this strange spider. It's green in a millisecond. Add alcohol and it only gets wackier. Just take your fucking I Adderall. I feel like I just had a stroke. Um, what did any of those words mean? I feel like I understand them individually, but not in that order. This is how you activate Russian sleeper cells. Yeah, this th this phrase doesn't mean anything. I can't on be its funny own. anymore because I'm 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 actually just angry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because uh, we oh. talked about this like this 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 series brings out this in all of us uh that kind of rage that you feel upon coming face to face with your darkest self. Yeah, and the fuck <laughs> <one>. <laughs> it is, having yeah. been fuck like a lol random waffles fucking spork ass bitch, I I can't I can't yeah. like hearing this stuff is like it's it's like actually <laughs> I'm like shaking. I feel physically you were, sick. Yeah. I'm some some just adopted the cloud cuckoo land. You were born in it. Molded by, by it. Snakes are manifesting you in my house. Sense until you are an adult. 
Yeah. I am a... I wasn't funny until I was already a man. I'm like, oh my god. When I was... When I, when I was no longer a child, I put away childish things. I buried my spork deep within the crust of the earth. I, I fucking... I, I no, killed but... that penguin. I fucking... Like, I hate awful. this. I hate this. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the waffle hat. <laughs> God. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the funny unicorn hat. <laughs> Nobody cared who I was until I made them a cookie, but then I eated it. Addison, don't tell me you eated it. You truly are the Joker. Next, so we say that you put your chips in your ice. I'm literally like, I am, I am sweating like I just ran a mile. I am so... <laughs> Don't worry, we're almost there. I am we're coming apart at the seams. <laughs> we need we are trapped in Cloud Cuckoo Land! Oh, next, next we have Hey, this troper wants to be the Pope too. And I'm prone to laughter that verges on the evil laugh. Even if I'm not trying to be evil, dot dot dot. Then in parenthesis, ironically, this troper actually has a rather long shot at actually becoming the next Pope. Oh, sorry. This is according to PayPal prophecy. For a second, I thought it said according to PayPal prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a Catholic version of PayPal called PayPal. It's <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, I love PayPal. <laughs> PayPal. Yeah, let's pray pal. take this to fucking Shark Tank. Uh, the next pope is meant to come from ancient France, and this troper can trace his family's line back to the Norman invasion of England. Well, it is that totally turned out to be bullshit because it's in Pope Francis Argentinian. Yeah. Uh, too bad that, or, or yeah, that makes sense since you're the only guy whose ancestors came from fucking France. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're in there with the chance, The last dude. Frenchman. We found him. <laughs> Avatar, the last Frenchman. We found the CEO of France. And the French are normally such sort of quiet, self-effacing people. We found the last one hidden among them. Oh, God. <laughs> Next, this troper once retold the entire World War II as if it were a Wuja. Uh, like martial arts movie and mixing it with Dragon Ball Z to the point that the story ended with Super Churchill fighting perfect Hitler, destroying the world, finding the last Christmas tree to ask Shenron for a Christmas miracle. Also, he had an entire conversation in alliteration. Owen! Owen's it's back! Owen! Owen's oh. back! The Oath of October yeah. himself. The Oath of October. Oh. Henry, you found him. The worst fucking guy on the improv team. Yeah, here yeah. he is. Oh no, this this whole like Wuja World War thing is just totally something I would do, except with the Civil War. I have like a whole pitch on like Stonewall Jackson is a big evil golem, and Abraham Lincoln is the size of like how he is on the monument, and like Robert E. Lee is the fifth horseman of the apocalypse. You know what that like, is? I've done the Merrimack and the the, the the two big ironclad ships are mechas. I've written this all that out. That person grew up to write the show Danger 5. Yeah. Which is basically like that, but less obnoxious. Oh, yeah. Danger 5 is actually good. It continues, though. It oh, continues. Boy. There's an eagle man he, in that, yes? He, crea yes. he created a, a suit of armor out of AOL CDs, quote, just in case, spent an entire day practicing dramatic poses in front of a mirror, and had friends point out how all of Osaka's antics were done by him in high school and junior high. Sometimes event for event. I think that's from Azuma. It is, Dio. and also how fucking dare you mm. take her name out of your mouth. Yeah, put some yeah. respect on her. I love Azuma Gadayo. That just exactly. actually made me angry again. I'm pissed again. I'm angry oh. again. The rage is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's move on to the next Adam's one. Adam's becoming Nicholas Keys again. <laughs> yeah, oh no, let's move to the next one before she goes full Omega and the kills The anger meter. <laughs> yeah. um, next we have this troper, and I'm proud of it. Just look at my page. I'm not sure whether I'd suit the mad scientist or mad artist mold better. Well, it's actually very easy. Uh, are you a science major or an art major? <laughs> That's very easy to decide. Also, just like, ah, uh, yeah, it's because I made, you know, an armor out of CDs just in case. What, in case you're a fucking idiot? <laughs> like, <laughs> in case you thought for a second that someone would find you appealing and then they sh you roll up with that. I love the idea of uh, armor that is made out of a material that has big holes in it. <laughs> He tapes CDs to himself so he can see these nuts. 
I'm awful. thrilled that he made his armor out of CDs. It will be so much easier for me to destroy him. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you get in your want. mecha and you guys battle, just like my favorite movie oh my World God. War II. I'm just, I'm don't know, I'm just picturing Addison <laughs> with just an absurdly big sword. Yes. Just chasing this dude around. I'm going to slice this man oh from tip to taint with the big sword from Final <laughs> Fantasy. Addison is like a, a he's, he's covered in CDs and Addison takes the form of a magpie and just Sw- swoops him repeatedly. <laughs> just a little stain on the ground. That wouldn't be very noise of her. <laughs> Addison, Addison is just like the doom slayer to the people of Cloud Cuckoo Land. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, just rolling up and murdering <laughs> all of them. It's because I once was that one of them. Oh I God. know how they look. I know how they think. I, I, I was, was one. I was right. one. I, I killed the troper in me. Now I do the same for society. These people don't deserve punishment. They deserve punishment. I killed the troper that lives inside me, and now I ha- cannot abide it. Like I. Yes. Oh God. Oh. I like. Oh no. I have like that fever oh, feeling like, again. Like my body feels cold, but my face right. feels really Moving hot. Move to the next one. Move to the next right. one before Edison goes full Omega. This is the second to last okay. one. Uh, this troper <laughs> just posted an assignment to his color theory that includes at least six references to Octarine, with no explanation whatsoever, including one cryptic reference after a paragraph about cone cells in the retina that simply goes, and don't even get me started on the octagons. A couple of days ago, he went into his living room and stood stock still for several seconds, put, uh, pointing at the cat laying on the floor. When his roommate asked him to get something while he was up, he replied, shh. I'm pointing at a kitty. He once spent half an hour at a party preaching to young women about the glory of Azathoth, the blind idiot god. I hate him. Parenthesis, neither converted. The list goes on. Imagine that being one... stuck with this prick at a party. Henry, Henry, oh, you don't have to no. imagine because that's me. <laughs> this is, I feel like this is the sighted idiot Three god. Three things. Yeah. Uh, I hope you failed your fucking assignment. I hope your cat scratched you. And I hope those girls threw their drinks in your face. You unbearable fool. I hate you. <laughs> I hope Azathos himself showed up at the party and was like, I heard you were talking shit and smacked him into the ground and then had a lovely time with the two women. Yes, Azathos, is like... Azathos rolls up. Is this guy bothering you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy seems like he's being real oh, pushy. God. To be fair, I'm no, Azathoth. it's not me because listen, I am not, I am not an Azathoth stan. I am forever Yogsathoth. Who is the gate and knows the I gate? Was, Yogsathoth. For I was ready to give this guy some slack fair until enough. he revealed he had a roommate, which means he's at least eighteen. Which means I, I, I can't give him the the child slack. So I just hate him again. It's true. <laughs> yeah, he's old enough to die. <laughs> I don't know what what this is, where this is coming from. None will escape. None will escape Addison's vengeance. <laughs> Addison is just the building bricks the, guy. Yeah. No <laughs> one is safe. <laughs> All right. God. Very last Addison, one. Addison Peacock has become Lord Shen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the deadliest peacock. <laughs> yes. Very last one to uh, move out this TV Tropes fuck all special. It is the uh, last cloud cuckoo yeah, lander. This is the last thing before the we last like, detonate and blow it up behind us as we leave. I hope you motherfuckers in the comments have been real grateful for this extra long episode. Anyway, I would like to throw my hat into the ring. He's a total Hoovian. I don't, he, I don't know why he went from uh, I to him. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm feeling not. Oh, I'm feeling the fuck or so right bad now. right now. No, no, Wait no, no, no. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't I'm, say anything. I'm else about. I'm about right to now. execute a combo that <laughs> finally finishes off Addison. Um, he's, and sometimes segues into crazy conversations like, "Who would win, a knife or a fork?" No. He commonly treats his computer as his lover. No. He is an adult child too. <laughs> he makes up new words no. and it renders his soup. Soup tastes soupy. Already a word. No. Potatoes taste potatoey and also awesome, amazing. Sorry, awesome, amazing. He randomly bursts into song and shouts random words no. of bad moments. No. I think this is the president of Cloud Cuckoo Land. No. This is the CEO of Cloud Cuckoo Land. This is the final boss <laughs> of Cloud Cuckoo I, Land. I, Here I, he is. I'm not strong enough. <laughs> Addison, He's to, too you powerful! Need, you need to go and level grind on the weaker Cloud Cookie Landers before you come back to defeat Oh god, I take off my leg weights. They're made of sonic like... screwdrivers, and I've been... 
You can't, fight, you can't predict his movements. All of his attributes and power level are completely randomized. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, guys, obviously his power level is over 9,000. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, of course. His power level is bacon, bacon, monkey, no, monkey. No, how is no, this? No. How is this episode more draining than the people who were fantasizing about Nazi Germany? The Narwhal, the Narwhal bacon's a bit. <laughs> because, because, because bacon last episode we spent. Because last episode we were like, war crimes are never okay. You shouldn't do them. And now we're like, war crimes against Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah. Okay. They've had it too <laughs> to lull to random for too I long. I feel like I have a fever right now. <laughs> so you do have a fever, a troping <laughs> fever, and the only cure is more more bacon. tropes. <laughs> Please, people in the comments, put <laughs> include hashtag thoughts and prayers for Addison. I feel she needs to be healed. Feel, clap your hands if you believe. I feel, if you believe in it, I do not thought. feel well. Give right the now. power back to Addison. I'm do gonna wanna, clap my hands right now. Do you wanna take it home, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Cloud Cuckoo Land has officially been laid to waste. Good. <laughs> they will never rise again from the ashes of their terrible defeat. And I think all who look upon this day will know that destiny was wrought in its darkest way. And for all the rest of you, we'll be seeing you in the near future. <laughs>